Guys, it's Brian back with a uh, Polygon Matic token update. Uh, it's been a pretty exciting last couple days in the market here. I haven't uh, made a Matic video for a couple days, but uh, I want to go over this chart. We're down 1.7% for the day, and we still haven't hit this price target up here that uh, we put in for this thing. But we did hit it on Bitcoin yesterday, and I got a couple very, very exciting articles to go over with you. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. We would love to have you here every day. Do a giveaway at the end of the month. Last day of the month, we're going to give away 100 ADA tokens. That's Cardano. But I want to show you a couple of very exciting articles here. Crypto rallies into the weekend. Bitcoin posts its best week since early of 2021. It says here Bitcoin ended higher by 7.46% at 26,868. According to Coinmetrics, it posted a weekly gain of 34.13%. That's massive in a week for Bitcoin. And it's best week since January of 2021, which was right before the first bull run that year. Ethereum rose 3.87% to 1745 for the week. It ended up 22.88%, its best week since August of 2021. So that's some big gains for the two top coins. You love to see that, you know. They lead the market. Bitcoin does, you know. It just, it just does. Crypto wallet prototype discovered inside Microsoft Edge browser. That's pretty huge, too. According to the screenshot shared on Twitter by Albacore, a pseudonym software researcher from Central Europe, Microsoft has added code that would integrate a non-custodial crypto wallet into the company's default Edge browser. It also goes on to say down there that they test a lot of things that never see the light of day, but I was wondering where Microsoft was going to make a move here. That I could definitely see this, this coming to light, so... Great to see the fear and greed index. The market caps up 1.18% at 1 trillion 186 billion. Volume is up 86.7% for 24 hours. Great to see. Bitcoin dominance is down 0.53%. And the market sentiment, we are at a 64 in greed. Here's your biggest gainers, biggest losers. And look at the top left, what is trending. Bitcoin. That's what we want to see. You know, that brings uh, that brings the money to the to the party here. So, let's go over this uh, Matic chart here. We've been tracking this five waves up. This is Matic on the four hours. You can clearly see here. We have a one, two, three. The fourth wave pullback, and we still haven't made finish this fifth wave yet. You know, we haven't even taken out the third wave yet, but. I believe this extension is going to take us up to the dollar thirty-three something. So it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before investing your money. It, uh, that's always the best thing to do. You know, look into things yourself and do what do what your gut tells you before you listen to anybody. So unless they have a financial license, then you might want to listen to them. But, but uh, this four-hour RSI down here, we're getting a little overextended on that, so that's probably going to have to cool down. The one-hour is reset down here at the bottom. So we couldn't see a move. You can see that trend line right there forming on, on Matic right here. And you can see it is following it beautifully. Could come down here and retest it. You can see we have two touches on this thing. Could come down and touch it and ride it for a little bit while that RSI cools off. But Bitcoin has done a beautiful back test here i want to show you this because it's just beautiful it hit our price target that we had for it just barely this is bitcoin on the hourly but it nicked our price target and look at this beautiful back test you know see this high here and look at the back test it did just a beautiful back test and a super strong bounce off of that you know didn't fall through it so we've retested that as support for bitcoin which is beautiful you want to see that you want to see a strong bitcoin lead this market and you can see the five waves up it did here perfect you know three four five and i truly believe this thing has a little bit more leg to it here so going to keep an eye on that over the weekend and uh i'll get back to you guys tomorrow polygon uh matic here i believe it still has to finish this fifth wave which it hasn't done yet, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Thank you so much for watching my channel, guys. Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here every day, and uh, we cover maybe 10 to 15 coins, you know. 
and not everybody holds just one altcoin, so we like to go over a few. Thank you so much.